this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to build advanced, dynamic websites with Breakdance. Here, I've built a real estate listing website. All the data is coming from advanced custom fields. We have this beautiful gallery. We have the price coming from advanced custom fields, the address, bedrooms, bathrooms. We have a tour button, which opens a form. We even have dynamic data in the form field. We have a Google map, which is displaying the location dynamically. We have another contact form right here. This is all very easy to do in Breakdance. So let's go into Breakdance and I will show you how to do it. So here I am inside Breakdance and here you're looking at the page that uses the post loop builder element. The post loop builder allows you to display a loop of any post or custom post type and fully customize the template that is used to display each loop item. All the data you see here is coming from advanced custom fields. The image is the post featured image. I've used conditional dynamic data to display the price when one is present and call for price if no price has been specified. This loop can be displayed in a grid. It can be displayed in a vertical list. It can even be displayed as a slider. When you click on an individual listing, you will be taken to the single listing page. On this page, I have an image that's set to the post featured image. I have a gallery that's set to the advanced custom fields gallery. I've set the price dynamically and I've chosen to do it conditionally. We only show the price if price is not empty. Otherwise, we show call for price if price is empty. We have the address linked dynamically. We have the bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage all set up dynamically using the icon list element. We have a description. We have tabs with the Google map with a table of additional data and the contact form. Okay, let's learn how to build this in Breakdance. Here I am inside the WordPress admin panel. And as you can see, I have a number of property listings on my website. We want to create one template that applies to all of these listings. Each one of these listings has a number of custom fields associated with it. I created these custom fields using the advanced custom fields plugin. Breakdance also has integrations for Toolset, Metabox, a number of other plugins, and also supports native WordPress custom fields and other data. Okay, let's create a template that applies to all of the listings. To do that, we'll go to Breakdance, Templates, and here we'll click Add Template. And I'm going to choose Add Custom Template and Continue. And I'm going to call this listing. And under location, I'm going to choose apply template to listings. I could add additional conditions if I only want to apply it to certain listings or narrow it down more. But I want to apply this template to all my listings, so I'll leave the conditions alone. Let's click add template. And now let's edit in Breakdance. Here we are inside of Breakdance. I want a two column layout for my listings. I want the image and gallery on the left and the property listing information on the right. So let's go to add and let's add in a columns element. I will choose two columns. And now in the left column, I'm going to add in an image element. Now I'm going to set this image element to the post featured image. To do that, I will just click the database icon and choose featured image. And there we go. We're now pulling in the image from the post featured image. If I wanted to preview a different listing, I could go to the previewing dropdown and just choose a different listing. Let's try that. And now we are previewing this listing. Okay, let's add in a gallery element below the image to display the gallery associated with the listing. So I'll go to add, I will choose gallery. And by default, it's just going to display some preloaded image. I want to set these dynamically. So I will go to images, click the database icon and choose ACF gallery. There we go. We are now pulling in the images from the gallery custom field. Let's go to the design options for the gallery and under layout, I'm going to choose two columns and I will make it a masonry layout. Let's also add a little bit of spacing below the main image and that looks beautiful. There we go. Okay, now in the right column, let's set up the listing data such as the price, the address, the description, etc. So the first thing I'm going to add is the price. So I'll just go to add. I want the price to be a heading. So I will add in a heading element and under text, I will click the database icon and I will set this to the advanced custom fields price field. This is the dynamic data chooser where you can choose all the different dynamic data points. I'm just going to scroll down until I get to advanced custom fields and then I will choose price. 
And there we go, we've now set the heading to the price. Let's make this an H2, and now let's add in another, another heading element for the address. So I'll click on heading, click the database icon, scroll down to ACF listings, choose address. And there we go, we've now pulled in the address. Let's make that an H5. Okay, let's now add in an icon list with the bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage. So I will add in an icon list element. And for my first uh, item, I wanna choose a bedrooms icon. So I'll just search my uploaded icons. Um, here we go, let's go bed. Bed empty looks pretty good. Okay, for the next one, I want to do bathrooms. So let's, let's try shower. There we go, we have a shower icon. And square footage, we just want something kind of rectangular or square. Let's type in rectangle. And there we go, that rectangle looks pretty good. Okay, now let's set the text of each list item dynamically. So to do that, we're just going to go to text. And I'm now just going to search for bedrooms because of course the, the dynamic data chooser has a search box. So I'll type in bedrooms, click my bedrooms field, and we want it to say three bedrooms. How do we do that? We'll click the bedrooms dynamic data chip. We will go to advanced and in append, I'll put a space and then I'll type in bedrooms. Let's close that and there we go three bedrooms. Okay, let's do the same for bathrooms. Click the database icon, search for bathrooms, choose it, click the chip, go to advanced, append with bathrooms. And for the next one is going to be square footage. Let's go to that last one, click the database icon, search for square feet, choose it. Again, open advanced, append with square feet. There we go, 1,700 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Let's make this a horizontal icon list. So I'll go to design, I will go to layout, I'm going to choose horizontal, and let's add some gap here. So I'm just gonna click the column, I will go to layout, and I will add a 20 pixel gap just to spade things out nicely. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's add in the description. So to do that, I will add in a text element, click the database icon, search for the description field, and there we go. It's easy with Breakdance. Let's add in that request a tour button. I'm going to make this open up a pop-up that I created earlier. So to do that, I'm just going to go under link, settings, type, action, select type pop-up, and open the inquire form pop-up. You can watch other videos on our YouTube channel to learn how to create pop-ups. I'm going to change this button text to inquire now, and let's make this a bigger button. So I'll just choose custom, and let's go to size, and we'll make it a large button, and let's just go full width on desktop. There we go, big, beautiful inquire button. Now let's add in the tabs with the table of additional property data, the Google map, and the contact form. To do that, I will go to add, and I will add an advanced tabs element. And let's open up the structure panel, and by default, you can see it comes with some tab content. We don't want this default content, so I'm just going to delete all of it. Now I'm going to go to advanced tabs. I'm going to fill out my tabs. The first tab is going to be the info tab. The next tab is going to be the map tab. And the third tab is going to be the contact tab. We'll delete the fourth tab. Now inside the advanced tabs, let's add a tab content element. So to do that, I just go to advanced tabs. I click tab content. And by default, the tab content has a heading and text. I don't want this heading and text though. I just want to put that table in. So to do that, we're going to use the breakdance business hours element. This is a nice table and it can be repurposed for pretty much any type of data. Let's clear out everything that's in there right now and then add an item. And this first item is going to be lot size. And we're going to set the lot size dynamically. We'll click the database icon and let's find lot size. There we go, lot size. Okay, for the next item, let's add parking. So fill in parking and let's search for the parking custom field. Let's choose it. There we go, lot size and parking. Lastly, let's add the listed on date. So we'll add another one listed on and we're gonna set the time to the post date. And there we go, listed on September 7th, 2022. If you wanna customize that date format, you could just go to format I could choose a custom format, I'll choose MDY, and there we go, that'll give us September 7th, 2022. Okay, now let's make this full width and then move on to the map. So I'll just go to container, and under width, I'm going to set the width to 100%. Beautiful. Okay, now let's set up the map. So let's add another tab content element. So I'll go to advanced tabs, 
add another tab content. And let's go to this tab content. That's the map tab. And I'm going to delete the heading and delete the text. And I'm going to add in a Google map element. And let's go ahead and choose use without API key just for demonstration purposes. And let's set the address to the property address. So I'll just search for address. I will choose address and voila, our Google map now shows the property address. Let's go to the design options and let's change the size to 100% width. And there we go, there's our map. Now let's go ahead and add in a contact form in the contact tab. So let's go back to advanced tabs. Let's add another tab content element. This will be the contact tab. So we have info, we have map, and we now have contact. And in here, I'm going to add in a form builder. And let's delete that heading and text. We don't need that. And in our form builder, we want to pre-fill the message dynamically. How do we do that? Let's open message. Under advanced, we can go to value. And I'm going to click the database icon, and I'm going to choose address. And there we go. We now have the address pre-filled the message. I want to prepend the address with I am interested in the property listed, or I'm in the property at, and then a space, and then the address. And there we go. Let's go ahead and save this and take a look on the front end. So here we are on the front end, and here is our beautiful property listing with all of the property data pulled in dynamically, a dynamic map, and a dynamic contact form. Now, let's learn how to build the loop of listings using Breakdance. So you want to go to the WordPress admin panel and then go to Breakdance Global Blocks and click Add Global Block. I will call this block Listing Loop Part. And this global block is going to provide the template that is used to render each item in the loop. Let's click Add Global Block and Edit in Breakdance. Now here I am inside Breakdance. And I don't want to redo all the work I did for the listing template. Here's my listing template. I already set up all this dynamic data. Why don't I just copy and paste it in to my global block? Well, Breakdance supports cross-page copy-paste, so we can just right-click, copy, and then right-click and paste. And you may notice nothing is showing up, and that's because I'm not actually previewing a listing. I'm previewing a page here. So we'll go to the preview dropdown, and I'm going to choose a listing. So let's just search for one, preview, and there we go. Price is now showing up. We also want the image, so let's just right-click and copy, right-click and paste. We want the icon list. Let's copy, and we can just paste with Command-V as well. I just hit Command-V on the keyboard to do that. We also want the address, so we will just copy and paste. I use Command-V there. Okay, let's put this image on top. Let's put the price below it. Let's make this price a little bit smaller. We'll make it an H4. Let's make the address much smaller. We can make that an H6. And let's add some spacing. So I'll give it about, I don't know, 18 pixels there and about 13 there. We probably also want this to stack vertically. So we'll just go to icon list and under layout, I'm going to choose vertical. Okay, there we go. This template is now going to be rendered for each item in the loop. Now let's actually create that loop using Post Loop Builder. So I'll save this. I will exit to WordPress and I will go to pages and I'll add a new page called Listing Loop Demo. You could put the loop builder on any page you want or even in a breakdance template. Okay, on this page, we are going to add in a post loop builder. And for the repeated block, we will choose the listing loop part we just created. And for the query, we are going to choose custom query, edit query, and the default is post, but we want listing. So we'll clear out post and choose listings. Let's apply the query. And there we go. We now have our listings. Let's go into the design options and customize the layout. So I'll click the design tab. I'll go to list and let's make this display as a grid. And for items per row, let's choose three. And there we go. We have a beautiful three column grid of our listings. Let's customize the design of each item a little bit. So let's go to post and for background, I'm going to give them a white background and let's give them a shadow and that looks much better. Let's save this and take a look on the front end. Beautiful. You may notice that this post right here isn't showing a price though. That's because it doesn't have a price. What should we do in that case? Well, let's use conditional dynamic data. So let's go back to that loop part 
I will go to Breakdance, Global Blocks, Listing Loop Part, and I'm going to set it to only show the price field if the price is present. So to do that, I'm going to click the price. I'll go to Settings, Conditions, Only Show Element If, and I will click Edit Conditions. Let's add a condition. We're going to go to Dynamic Data, and then we're going to choose that Advanced Custom Fields Price Field. We're only going to show this if price is not empty. Okay, let's now add another heading. So I'll just duplicate this one. And for this one, I'm just going to write call for price. It won't be set dynamically. And let's go over to settings, conditions. And for this one, let's edit the conditions. We will only show this if price is empty. Let's apply the condition and save. And now let's go back to the front end and view our loop. And there we go. It now shows call for price if a price isn't present and the price otherwise. We can also customize the pagination here. So let's go ahead and go into Breakdance and do that because right now we don't want this empty space, do we? So let's go to Breakdance and open up the listing loop demo page. I'll click the post loop builder and under query, I will edit the query and I want to return nine posts per page. And there we go nine posts. If I want to show the pagination, I can do that as well. We'll just go to pagination and I can show numbers. And now you'll be able to click through until you run out of listings. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance and that's how to build dynamic websites with Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.